The entrance of God's word gives light and it brings understanding to the simple. Even as you're about listening to this message by the man of God, we hope that the light of God's word will be shed abroad in your heart. You will know what to do and you will know how to live. And so if you're new to this channel, kindly hit on that subscribe button for us. And then like this message. Also go to the comment section and comment whatever you have learned. Share this message abroad because we won't always be a blessing to the world. Thank you. Heavenly realities are spiritual realities. Heavenly realities are spiritual realities. So heaven and spiritual are synonymous words. So to be born again, which means to be born of the spirit, is the same as being born from heaven. To be born again, which means to be born of the spirit, also means to be born from heaven. Look at Ephesians chapter 1 verse 10. Ephesians chapter 1 verse number 10. That in the dispensation of the fullness of times, he might gather together in one all things in Christ, both which are in heaven and which are on earth, even in him. Even in him, which are in heaven, which are on earth, even in him. So heaven and earth are realities in Christ, which are in heaven, which are on earth, even in him. They are realities in Christ. While the heaven refers to the unseen world, the term earth refers to the physical, natural world. When Jesus was taken out of their sight, okay, that was in the natural world. But in the heaven, they are seated together. How many of you understand? He was taken out of their sight, which is the natural world. But in the immaterial, which is heaven, they are seated together. So it was not a departure. It was an arrival. When he was taken, was not a departure, it was an arrival. So if he walks with, from heaven to effect things on earth, it therefore means that heaven is like a control room, a seat of authority. Look at Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. Matthew chapter 28, verse 18 to 20. And Jesus came and spake unto them, saying, All power is given unto me in heaven and in earth. Go ye therefore and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost, teaching them to observe all things whatsoever I have commanded you. And lo, I am with you always, even unto the end of the world. All authority in heaven and on earth. Jesus explained it a bit further in Matthew 16, 19. Matthew chapter 16, verse 19. Read for me. And I will give unto thee the keys of the kingdom of heaven. Now wait. So the keys of the kingdom of heaven will be given to you while you are where? On earth. So if a man on earth has the keys of the kingdom of heaven and is operating the keys. Where will he be operating the keys from? From the earth. Which means what he's doing on earth will be affecting heaven because heaven and earth are together in Christ. I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom of heaven and whatsoever thou shalt bind on earth shall be bound in heaven and whatsoever thou shalt lose on earth shall be loose. So you have the keys and whatever you are doing is having effect in heaven because heaven and earth are together where? In Christ. Earth, physical, heaven, immaterial side of the earth. Immaterial and material. Immortal and mortal. Deity and humanity. God in a man. Heaven on earth. I'm teaching good. Look again very clearly the way Jesus will teach it. Matthew 18, 18. Matthew chapter 18 verse number 18. Read for me. Verily I say unto you, whatsoever ye shall bind on earth shall be bound in heaven. And whatsoever ye shall lose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. Again, Jesus made these statements to show the togetherness of heaven and earth. Things are made to happen on earth because of heaven. So heaven and earth therefore are together. The heaven speaks of the unseen part of the earth. Jesus explains heaven and earth as God's throne and footstool. 
heaven and earth as God's throne and footstool. Read for me Matthew chapter 5 verse 34 to 35. Matthew chapter 5 verse 34 to 35. But I say unto you, swear not at all, neither by heaven, for it is God's throne. Next verse. Nor by the earth, for it is his footstool. Yes. Neither by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by heaven, it is his throne. Earth, it is his footstool. A throne is understood as where a king runs the affairs of his kingdom. A throne is where a king runs the affairs of his kingdom. The throne and footstool will be in the same place. The throne and the footstool will be in the same place. The footstool is figurative of where authority is exercised. Is figurative of where authority is exercised. So heaven and earth is what God is doing on the earth. Heaven and earth is what God is doing on the earth. This explains why Matthew's account of the gospel has kingdom of heaven written in his account. While Dr. Luke will use kingdom of God. Matthew uses kingdom of heaven. Luke uses kingdom of God. Okay, so Matthew employs the figurative use. But both kingdom of God and kingdom of heaven mean the same thing. Both of them mean the same. Heaven and earth, therefore, are terms to explain what God is doing. Heaven and what men are doing, earth. Heaven, what God is doing, earth, what men are doing. It is not a planet. This is away from the earth. But it explains the unseen part of the earth where authority is exercised from. In Matthew 28, 18, Jesus said, All authority is given to me in heaven and on earth. The word power, authority. This statement of Jesus made upon his resurrection. So the question now will be, what is available upon his resurrection? What is available to us upon Jesus' resurrection? Remember, we have said that heaven can be explained using a throne as a seat of authority where a king exercises his dominion in his kingdom. Heaven can be explained using a throne as a seat of authority. That is where a king in his kingdom exercises his dominion so in the kingdom of heaven christ is seated in that authority in the kingdom of heaven christ is seated in that authority are you following <clears throat> okay so when he said all authority is given to me in heaven and the earth to be seated when we say jesus is seated it refers to a permanent authority. Seated means this authority is permanent. Psalm 110 verse 1. Read for me. Psalm 110 verse number 1. The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Sit thou. The Hebrew actually has it like this. Sit, 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 sit. Sit, sit. Permanent. Sit, 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 which is permanent, permanent authority. The throne is the place of authority, and that refers to the authority of the kingdom of heaven. I will give unto you the keys of the kingdom, the authority of the kingdom. Look at Acts 2, 32 to 36. Acts chapter 2, verse 32 to 36. This Jesus hath God raised up, whereof we all are witnesses. Next verse. Therefore, being by the right hand of God exalted, and having received of the Father the promise of the Holy Ghost, he has shed forth this, which ye now see and hear. He has shed forth this. Go ahead. Go ahead. For David is not ascended into the heavens, but he said to himself, The Lord said unto my Lord, Sit down on my right hand. Next verse. Until I make thy foes thy footstool. Next verse. What language is this? 
For a minute, I almost went zinglondo, brother. Then I remember that tongues cannot be written. Okay, read on, read on for me. <laughs> Therefore, let all the house of Israel know assuredly that God hath made that same Jesus whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. Both Lord and Christ. The term ascended on high. The Lord ascended on high refers to authority over all things. Authority over all things. Remember in John chapter 14, it says, Let not your heart be troubled. You believe in God, believe also in me. In my father's house are many mansions. If it were not so, I would have told you. I go to prepare a place for you. And when I prepare a place for you, I will come back again and receive you to myself. That where I am, you may be also. So, he refers to the term house. In my father's house. The word house refers to household or family. In my father's family. In other words, there was a plan to make men into God's family. To make men into God's family or household. At this point, Jesus was referring to his death, burial, and resurrection. That is, when he is raised from the dead, there will be a place for us. Access to the family. There will be a place for us. And so Paul begins to pray in Ephesians chapter 1 verse 16 to 23 that God will give unto you the wisdom of the spirit. Ephesians 1 16 to 23 you can read in your private study that God will give to you the wisdom of the spirit. That is for the spirit to show us where he is. When a believer knows where Christ is seated, he sees himself there. When a believer knows where Christ is seated, he sees himself there because he has raised us up to be seated together. When you see where he's seated, you know that that is where you are seated. Therefore, the prayer is for the spirit to show that we are seated in that position. Which means, therefore, that in Christ, in Christ is a reflection of the believer himself. In Christ is a reflection of the believer himself. In Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5 to 6, read for me Ephesians chapter 2 verse 5 to 6. Even when we were dead in sins, hath quickened us together with Christ, by grace ye are saved. Next verse. And hath raised us up together and made us sit together in heavenly places in Christ Jesus. In Christ, in Christ. He shows that the authority is a position in Christ. So the believer is in that kingdom now. I give unto you the keys of the kingdom. You can't be outside the kingdom and operate the keys of the kingdom. You are in the kingdom now. You are born into the kingdom. Except a man be born again, he cannot see. Except a man be born of water, that is the spirit he cannot enter. So the day you were born of the spirit, you were born into the kingdom. Hence, you have the keys of the kingdom. That means you are in heaven now operating the authority of Jesus and having effect on the earth. Am I communicating at all? Having effect where? On the earth. The kingdom of God doesn't come by observation. The kingdom comes by the spirit. So, giving us the spirit, when God gave us his spirit, he gave us his kingdom. Because the kingdom is in the spirit. When God gave us the spirit, he gave us his kingdom. Because the kingdom of God is in the spirit. We are so grateful for having you here on our platform. Kindly head the subscribe button if you are new here and also like this message for us do well to comment in the comment section because we want to know what you learned and where you're watching us from thank you message community